There's okay. IT professional. Sure. Let's do a let's do a roll call. All right. Bill Henderson. Here. Nina Petrocelli. Here. Bruce Gallarducci. Here. Joe Colosimo. Here. Joe Verducci. Here. Virginia Schneider. Here. Nick Strzelski. Here. Betty Copeland. Here. Tom McDermott. Here. Kevin Brett. Here. Cheryl Glorick here. Chad King. Here. Ray Costain is not here. Or Dan Miller is not here. Okay. Do we have anyone in the audience uh, from the public that wants to speak? We have Bob Fryer, and I have him unmuted. Go ahead, Bob. Oh, can I speak now, uh, Bill? Yes, you can. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Hi. Uh, excuse me. Uh, as, as you know, I've uh, been spending a lot of time for the past couple of years trying to devise ways to uh, solve the Bridgeville traffic congestion problem since we're the two-lane bottleneck in between two uh, four-lane roads. And uh, we've all heard that uh, the reason that PennDOT never made any uh, real effort to solve the bottleneck problem was because the railroad bridge, excuse me, uh, that goes over top of the uh, two-lane Washington Avenue, that the officials were unreasonable and uh, they nobody could deal with them. <clears throat> so, but anyway, to make a long story short, uh, on May the 15th, um, I sent a letter to the three top officials of the railroad company with uh, some drawings of uh, not replacing the bridge, but just building an exact duplicate of the existing bridge so that two more lanes and a sidewalk could be built on the east side of Washington Avenue from the Bar Hill Road uh, intersection <clears throat> under the bridge extension over the Kirk bridge to Collier Township. At any rate, uh, to my surprise, about a week later, one of the officials called me and uh, we talked for about 20 minutes on the phone. They, he explained that uh, they liked the idea that <clears throat> my proposal was to build the bridge in two uh, phases and it would not uh, extensively interrupt their use of the, their trains using the line. And uh, I think this is a, a major opportunity for the community and the region. I, I've given you know, copies of the letter that I wrote and the drawings to uh, President of Council and our new, uh, our, 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 uh, new uh, borough manager, and I couldn't find Ken Brett's address. Uh, I wanted to send it to Ken as well. But hey, anyway, which, um, which official did you talk to so we don't have to restart the whole discussion uh, with the uh, the group that we were working with Collier on? Who, who was the individual that showed the interest? You mean with the railroad company? Well, you had said that there was somebody of interest that had a lot of interest, so we don't have to re-explain it. Who who did you speak to? I I don't want to tell you that now, because I want to be involved in the discussion with these guys. You are involved, Bob. You get look, yourself. Look, I'm not going to. I'm, 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 I'm going to. I'm not going to debate with you. This is a critical opportunity for the entire. For I don't think entire... you're not involved. If you do know this work, you are involved. We know from the first uh, grade. Uh, Nina, when you got... Question, who did you talk to? I'm not going to tell you yet. Well, then, did, you, me... did, you, get you, did you get you up completely? You're not, you're not cooperating. N no, you're wrong. I'm being totally cooperative. If you okay, let me okay. finish my, done, let me, I'm let me finish. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. All right. Let me finish my comment. Uh, the, uh, the, I don't know if this official was an engineer or not, but he said that, uh, he was very familiar with the, uh, 
bridge jail traffic congestion problem. Uh, he mentioned that uh, he, I, I, I don't, I'm sh- I think he lives in a small community in Ohio or somewhere, but he said the uh, problem's been so bad for so long. Uh, apparently, he has a like a pickup truck with railroad wheels on it. And he mentioned that um, he would someplace uh, west of Safed, he would get on the railroad tracks, drive through Safed, Bridgeville, and Collier, and then get off someplace around Carnegie and uh, continue wherever his destination was. But the uh, point point was that uh, they seem, uh, he said no one's really approached them with a design, bridge design like this before, but he emphasized that uh, PennDOT won't approve any improvement of Washington Pike unless it involves solving the entire Washington Pike Route 50 um, traffic congestion problem. As we, as we, we've all talked about dozens of times, that involves the in, that involves implementing the two-way couple for two blocks in Bridgeville and, uh, uh, and, uh, and com- uh, solving the traffic congestion problem totally. And the, and the only thing I was going to mention was um, I'll send copies of the letter and the, um, and the drawings to all of you guys but I'd like to meet with you before anybody approaches the officials uh, from the railroad company, because this is such an important uh, issue. Those, uh, those, the engineer and who else you say they are, they are on the um, time that, uh, who they're going to charge for their meeting. Uh, they're not going to charge the borrow. Excuse me, and you know, I I don't understand what you're saying. Talk more. Well, you slowly. say you want to have a meeting with that engineer, right? That's on his. Yeah. Well, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to have the meeting alone. Expensive. We uh, did. We have authorized something like that for no, for that, that, well, as the bill. That, I'm sure Verducci uh, already understand. He he, he, probably, he probably would have come with that question to me. I don't know what bill you're talking about, but the gentleman did say, I asked him if the, I, I mentioned that if the, excuse me, I mentioned if the bridge officials do agree with the proposal and uh, are interested in, in, uh, in making the needed comprehensive plan, part of the comprehensive plan, which I think it already is. I asked him if he would meet with some of the bridge officials and he said, he'd be glad to. But what I want to what I want to do is I want to meet with you guys and make sure you understand the details of this proposal. And I I'll, I'll get the uh, the same drawings I sent to Bill and uh, Joe Cower. Uh, I'll, I'll get to you guys in a couple of days because I want you to uh, study it and understand it, and then we can get together because I'm anxious to see how you. Uh, Proposed it. Incidentally, uh, the fellow mentioned to me that PennDOT never has approached them about, about widening the road and extending the bridge, which sort of surprised me because I was under the impression that uh, they had, and uh, because they were, uh, I've heard many times, uh, not from PennDOT officials, but, but from officials in uh, uh, in some of the surrounding communities, that the the railroad people companies are generally very hard to get along with. But this the fellow I talked to uh, was uh, very cooperative. So I just wanted you guys to know what I've done up, up at this point. I'll get you the data so you can understand in detail what it is, and then I'd like to meet with you because I'd like to know how you're going to approach this guy. And or his a group of officials from the railroad company, but uh, excuse me, there's no sense approaching the railroad company as this gentleman mentioned to me, unless the unless the solution unless Bridgeville proposes the comprehensive plan solution to the entire quarter traffic congestion problem, which means widening uh, Washington Avenue two lanes and the sidewalk to go under the bridge to, to Collier and also the 
extending Shady Avenue um, 220 yards, I think, to create the two three-lane wide one-way streets for uh, for two blocks. Okay, Bobby. Um, thanks for forwarding that to me. Go ahead and get the copies out to these other folks so that they know what you're talking about. Uh, and, Mr. Uh, Chairman, great. I do have a question for Bob. What's all the reason? Yeah, yeah go, ahead, go ahead, man. Uh, the people you talked from the railroad, how old were they? When they were 30, 40, 50, maybe? Oh, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, like, director, you can I know. Wait, wait a while. Wait a second. Director, you know the age of somebody. But what, hey, I want, excuse, what I'm going to come to, the people Nina, who I, talk to, to, I, to big, I'm, I'm here 33 years. We did yeah. talk to the people railroad to move, to make their bridge bigger. So those people, they're dead. The people you talk now, they tell you oh, they might have been talk, talk. That's okay. my point. They've been <laughs> talked to them. Believe me, Bob, when I tell you, they've been talked to them. That's, to make that's, their that's their one. That's long, longer. And, and uh, that's, we scare them when we put, when, Somebody went and almost killed himself under that. That's why we put those burial there. I said, please, yeah, I know, I know you got to make that well, thing bigger. Okay. So maybe right, the listen. people you talk okay, to, yeah, they will not exist Nina. then. But we Nina, don't let, tell listen, this new me. word that we don't talk to them. Nina, we, Nina yeah. I'm, let, let me interrupt for a moment. No, I, okay. I talked to the... Bob, hold Bob. on. No, hey, Bob. You know, I, I talked to the guy listen, on the telephone. This isn't a this was the Bob, this isn't a debate between you and Nino. I right. appreciate what you brought to us. Uh, get the copies out to the rest of council, and, and we will take a look at it, okay? Well, Mr. Chairman, yeah. I want to make, I want to make it clear that the, the past and past administration did speak to the, spoke to, to the railroad to get their bridge longer so we which we would have to do again you know if, if we're going to do well, it well, that's we would great. Have to. Sorry. so nina that's great that all of those things should be part of a major discussion so we accumulate collect all the data all the things that have been done before this is the fellow i talked to probably was unaware that he might have been younger and right, he might hey, have not even been with the railroad so Bob. hey listen i'll let you guys go well i'll, I'll get you the drawings Let's have a meeting, and then we'll decide about the best way to approach it. All right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. For, thanks for your time, guys. Yeah. Do we have anyone else, Cheryl? You're on mute. Sorry about that. Um, other folks are on here. If they want to unmute, they can. I helped Bob because he was on a phone um, line. Anybody else want to speak? Yeah, this is, uh, my name is Justin Robinson with TA Robinson Asphalt Paving. Hi, Justin. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. Um, I was calling regarding to the business tonight on uh, number seven, a motion to reject the bid received for the McLaughlin Run Park improvements and authorization to re-advertise and rebid the project. Okay. Um, being that we spent a lot of hours on this, uh, project bidding it and we're low we were a little taken back when we saw this this afternoon I just randomly checked to see if there was any agenda and I saw this and I was a little taken back so I figured I would call in and see what I could do to make this project still be a go for T.A. Robinson being that we are in the township we uh, work across the street from that park and would like to help the township uh, in beautifying that park and actually making it look what it was once. Um, Kevin, can I uh, ask you to chime in on the, the bid process? Yeah, the, uh, the bids come in over the, uh, uh, the estimate. So um, the, the main thing is this is a grant funded project and because of the amount of change in scope um, uh, that, that we need to do in order to get it to budget, um, there'll be a new proposal page. There'll be some reduced quantities. Um, in order to get the project in the budget. Um, kind of simultaneous too, it just happens that uh, there was another permit that was pending um, for another project um, that I'm gonna talk about in a report. So there's actually gonna be two projects out to bid at the same time. Um, 
it's really nothing to do do with your bid. It's just it's it's over budget. This was a holdover project uh, right? from Gateway, and it uh, uh, it, it the uh, project came in over what the original budget was. Um, so we did uh, uh, meet and uh, go over some reductions that we could do. Um, so the project, because it is uh, it, it is a grant funded project that uh, we need to uh, we do need to reject and then uh, rebid the project. But it will be on the street tomorrow. We have the documents ready to go. Okay, because. I, I talked to um, John Howe originally and said that the square yards were way out of whack. And I said, if, if you go and change the square yards based off of my calculations and takeoffs, and he said, well, when we do the job, we're going to measure it and pay per square yard. And just yeah, by, doing, by doing my calculations alone with the actual square yards that is on the drawings, you would save $145,000 right off the bat. Yeah, we understand that. Uh... That, that you made a few points such as that. Um, unfortunately, this project was put together and bid as a package from Gateway. Um, there was no changes made to the original uh, document. So I uh, appreciate uh, you pointing that out, but uh, we did go back through and kind of flush through all their quantities then. Um, but originally the, the project was bid as is. It was already prepared whenever uh, we took over as engineers, so. Co correct, and that's why John said, base your numbers off of your actual square yards because you're only going to be paid based on your square yards that would be completed. So that's why our square not yard numbers were so high in comparison to what the square yards actually are. Yeah, the square yards that's on their bid sheets, what we had to go with. So, yes. So it is, uh, I mean, we are recommending the bids be rejected and then rebid. So you'll have an opportunity to, uh, to bid again and uh, we're going to open bids before the next meeting. Okay. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks, Justin. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to have you. Kevin. Yeah. Uh, is there anybody else that wants to speak? Yeah, Bruce. Yeah. Hey, Kev, this isn't going to put it out of the uh, season again by rebidding and going through all this process, is it? No, I mean, actually, actually um, it's kind of happenstance, but um, mm -hmm. after the project was bid, um, we didn't know when DEP was going to issue their permit for the um, field being lowered and for the trash rack. Um, you subsequently got that permit while we've been waiting on this meeting. Uh, and then we did get the MPDS permit about an hour ago. Um, so we now have a green light to bid the GEDF project. So tomorrow, um, if council's okay with this, we will call um, the GEDF folks and get that process started. So they have some notifications they have to do. <clears throat> And then uh, we'll get the ad ready once they tell us it's okay to advertise it. Um, so we'll, we want to put in the uh, trash rack contract that the first 30 days, they got to move the dirt out of the field because that material is going to have to come across where these par parking lots are and then pave the parking lots this fall. So um, it'd be nice if we can get the whole park project done all this year. So um, we weren't sure that timing was going to be the case because DEP, uh, nor the conservation district had uh, officially weighed in, but you actually have both permits in hand now. Um, last week, the conservation district notified that they wanted everything resubmitted under our name because um, the original permit you got approved was in Gateway's name and he didn't actually have a permit. Um, so we did that in the last week. It, we sent the permit in and they issued it today. So we're good to go on that project as well. So the timing ends up being okay with, with these two. So Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, do we have anybody else from the public that wants to speak? Only once, twice. Okay, Mr. President? You. Yes. Hello, it's Pat de Blasio here. I seem to be having some difficulty getting on the Zoom part of the meeting. I've got the audio part. We can hear you. That's good. Um, wanted to uh, to ask a bit about parking um, and uh, specifically the north end of Washington Avenue. Um, it's a bit off the radar screen. Uh, the second question is uh, to the engineer regarding lowering the uh, baseball field at McLaughlin Park. Um, you know, this, I, I've never quite heard a an answer as to whether the lowering of the baseball field was going to mitigate the flooding, and if so, by how much? Um, you know, you know, obviously, it would mitigate some, but how many feet are we lowering the baseball field? 
and what is the engineer's professional opinion as to whether or not that will um, would have uh, impacted the 2018 flood? So those are the, the two items that I'd uh, appreciate some information on. Gavin, I, go ahead. Sure, I, I can uh, I can address it a little bit um, in a future meeting. We're gonna we'll, we'll have a presentation on all the uh, uh, flood mitigation efforts. Um, this one here falls into the category of uh, it's worth doing um, because the trash rack um, is something that's needed based on uh, the nature and a style of the flooding. You had a lot of clogging um, from things up upstream. So the trash rack itself um, will definitely help and lowering of the field um, gives a place for that debris um, to go out into from the trash rack. It'll build up um, and it'll move out into that. Lowering of the field does provide an area for volume and the design that um, Gateway had and we followed through with was they've just maximized the amount that you could lower the field. Um, so you have the maximum amount of storage. The amount of difference that it makes, um, there's actually no one improvement. We got the area studied now from there all the way to the outlet um, and there's work needed at the outlet of the stream. Um, uh, there's a um, levee wall necessary up past the uh, borough building. Um, there's two bridges that need changed out. And then there's a wall needed along Baldwin Street. And uh, including that with the trash rack and the field lowering and a little bit of stream enhancement up above, um, we can pass the 100-year uh, storm event uh, through the borough. And uh, there needs some... Uh, it needs two screw pumps, flood pumps in two different areas and uh, pump the water back up over the levee wall. And uh, when you combine all those things, including this area being lowered at the top, um, you can prevent the water from leaving um, the stream up above the park, um, coming down through the park and then down the street. Um, you should be able to alle alleviate that with this project. So. Um, but we will have a future project that will we'll walk through for er everybody on uh, what what we see the plan being and um, what the costs are for those things. Um, but this is a good first step. I, I would say uh, it's not something to eliminate at this point. Yeah, I have been sold on the value of the trash rack since Bill Colusi first proposed it several years ago. Um, not a question in my mind about the trash rack. It's economical and it solves a significant source of debris uh, that appears to cause the flooding. Both your firm and Gateway were solidly behind that. You're, if I understand properly, uh, you're rejecting a current set of bids and you're going to be rebidding a project. Um, one more time, how how many, you know, how much volume are we trying to reduce? How much of this, pro how much of the reduction, the lowering of the ball field? is to accommodate the trash rack. More importantly, how much of it is simply uh, to, to lower the ball field, which has questionable in, you know, from my understanding of the engineers has questionable value. How, how much expense is that? It's, uh, it's two different projects. The one that is being rejected is not the flood mitigation project. It was the park project um, for the restoration of the park actually. And it, which was mostly ah. a paving contract. The other one has not, has not been bid yet, and I'm sorry. I, I apologize. As, as as I started, Mr. Mr. Henderson or Mr. President and Mr. Brett, I I apologize. I, as I said, I was having some difficulty. I just joined the meeting and heard a you know heard that piece and confused the two separate projects. I look forward to your for, your presentation on the flood control project. <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you. Thank and you. Uh, I. I, I leave open my question uh, or my comment about the uh, the parking in the north end. Um, and uh, is there has there been a report on the uh, uh, the work with Collier Township on the north end? There's so been I'll step on myself again, Mr. President. No, no, no. There's been we haven't discussed it at all tonight, and we have not had another uh, conversation with Collier or the uh, public okay. officials and related to it. But certainly, it, it is on our cool. agenda. Okay, and a point of just personal question: If whoever is running the is there a, a different meeting ID on Zoom or? Uh, Cheryl, no. can you answer? No, there is not. Um, okay, I'll, I'll, I had I'll, everyone I'll, that in 
added to the meeting that came on that I saw. I'm not sure what difficulty you had, but anyone that's um, identifiable sure. on here, I automatically, when I saw your number pop up, I automatically um, added yeah, you I, to the meeting. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, through, thank you. The whole time. You're yeah, no, I know. It, it, it's worked brilliantly, Cheryl. You've done a great job with it. Thanks. Thank um, I'm sure it's on my, I'm sure this little glitch is on my end. So thank you. Not sure. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Oh, you're welcome. Anybody else? Going once. See if I can get the three twice, three times. Okay. Let's move on with the uh, rest of the agenda. <clears throat> I need a motion to approve the May 11th, 2020 regular meeting minutes as submitted. So move, Joe Colosmo. I'll second it, BJ Schneider. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to approve the June 2020 bill list. Joe Verduce, move. Bruce, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to approve the June 12th, 19th, 26th, and July 3rd and 10th, 2020 payrolls. So moved. Bruce. Second, Nick. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to adopt ordinance number 1014 of the borough of Bridgeville relative to the establishment and maintenance of police employees pension, annuity, insurance, and benefit fund or funds to amend certain provisions of the pension plan or program applicable to the police employees of the borough. So moved. So moved. So. Yeah, Bruce moved. Oh, okay. Nino second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. Need a motion to accept the bids for contract number 20 W01 Maple Street Retaining Wall and award the, uh, the bid to Gregory Construction Incorporated as low bidder in the amount of $135,900. Subject to Gregory Construction Incorporated obtaining the required insurance certificates, performance bond, and payment bond, and review and approval of the same by borough solicitor prior to execution of the agreement by the borough. I so move, Nick Krzyzewski. Do I have a second? I second, BJ. BJ, all in favor? Right. Question, right. question yeah. on a motion. Go ahead. Joe Verducci, did we budget money for that this year? I'm pretty sure we did, yes. Okay, I, I thought we did, but I just wanted to make sure, that's all. Okay. I'll, I'll, um, I'll take a look and I'll report that in the finance. Okay. Thank all you. in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Need a motion to accept the bids for contract number 20-R01-2020 road, roadway improvement program and award the bid to the lowest responsible bidder, Young Blood Paving Incorporated, in the amount of $161,194.50 for the base bid and add alternate number one contingent upon the review of all required documentation by the engineer, Brett. I so move. Nino. Second, Joe. Awesome. No second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. Need a motion to reject the bids received and for the McLaughlin Run Park improvements and authorization to re-advertise and rebid the project. No see, so move. Nick C <laughs> second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion passes. Need a motion to accept and pay any commission due the May 2020 real estate tax collector report. I'll move. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to accept the April 2020 Treasurer's Report. Go V, I'll move. Second, Bruce. Second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to accept the May 2020 Police Report. So moved, Bruce. I'll second, BJ. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay, committee reports. 
Uh, administration, Virginia Snyder. Uh, Mr. President, I am. Um... I move to appoint Cheryl Warlock as the interim borough secretary um, with a rate of pay of $5 per hour during the said interim appointment time from June 1st to July 22nd or 27th when the new incoming borough manager would start. I so yeah. move. Are you done with the motion? I'm done with the motion, Nina. I so move, Nina. So we had uh, BJ moved in. Uh, Nino second. Check all, in, Nino. all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Anything so, else, BJ? Um, Bill, I'd like to add to that. I don't know if you were going to cover what we're currently doing with the uh, COVID-19 and the opening of the borough building. Go ahead. Businesses opened, as you know, uh, entered the green phase on Friday. And uh, we feel that it would be important for the borough building to be open as well. So Tuesday, I think that's what, June 9th, tomorrow, the borough building will be open. Um, there will be uh, notifications on the website as well as Facebook as to what um, restrictions we face. Mac, obviously, the, uh, the lobby area will be closed off the restroom as well as any of the, the doorways. Um, but the girls will be in the office. Um, we encourage you, though, if you can, the residents of Bridgeville, to um, make payments via the box outside for sewer or trash. If you can write a check, um, it would be greatly appreciated. The, the less they have to handle money would be appreciated. Um, as well as if you need to make an appointment, we'd ask you to call ahead of time so they can make arrangements for you to come in. But we're just trying to limit the amount of traffic that comes through the building at this time. Was there anything yeah. else that um, Cheryl added to that? No, though, and that uh, message that uh, she's drawn up will be on uh, the website and Facebook tomorrow, Cheryl? Yes. Yeah, it'll be on both websites. So. Okay. Thank you. Anything else, BJ? I'm sorry. I said thank you for your efforts. Well, thank you for believing that I can take care of the borough for the next few months with uh, your your assistance and help. I appreciate it. Anything else, BJ? No, that's it. All right. Thank you. Shirley, you're going to do a good job. As Thanks, you Nino. He's been doing I will, it. I will surely do my best. Yeah. We know Fin that. Finance, Joe Verducey. Uh, to answer Bruce's question, there is a line item, but uh, they, I think it's a group of them. But, Bruce, I'm quite confident that that uh, the reports I'm looking at now, I, I, I don't see it broken down. I'll check in the other reports and get back to you. But I'm – Pretty confident that I mean that obviously was one of the items we wanted to address anyway. So, exactly. So thank yeah. you. Yep. Yeah. Um, as far as the finance committee, uh, I actually need to make a motion as well. Uh, I spoke with the finance committee, and uh, with Lori Collins uh, stepping down um, just to protect Lori and protect the uh, the borough. Uh, I need to make a motion to remove Lori Collins as an authorized signer at the deposit accounts held at uh, Brentwood Bank. I'll show you. One second. Joe, Joe made the motion and Nick oh, yeah, uh, has... Thank you. Pardon me? Joe made the motion and, and Nick second. Did I get it right? Neither one. It's fine. Okay. And, and I All in favor. also... Yeah. All Aye. in favor of that motion? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion passes. Uh, I also need to make a motion to uh, to uh, provide um, information only access to uh, Cheryl Valentino and uh, uh, Cheryl Glowak to uh, uh, be able to assist in the uh, some of the different things that need to be done. Uh, on a daily basis through the bank accounts as well as help with payroll and et cetera. Um, and uh, Brentwood Bank has a category, category of information only, but 
uh, they're not authorized signers. So we're providing them basically the online banking to be able to handle some of the day-to-day the -day banking needs. So that's my second motion. Motion I'll on the floor. I so shall move. B BG has already seconded it, Nina. Oh, okay. <laughs> I drink too much wine. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. Uh, other than that, uh, we're, we're still seeing some of the, the different uh, revenues coming in, so that's a good thing. Uh, I will be definitely interested to see uh, from the reports how, how the different revenues that come in now uh, will be coming in from, from June. So that'll be interesting to kind of guide us on where things are going for the rest of the year uh, as far as... Um, a few of the main revenue sources that we have that we need to keep on top of and watch over. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Parks and Recreation, Joe Colosimo. Thanks, Mr. President. Well, under the yellow phase of our COVID-19 quarantines, our parks have been open only for walking and using the trail. All playground equipment have been taped off and restrooms have been closed. Athletic groups had postponed and or canceled their practices and games. Friday, June 5th, under the direction of Governor Wolf, Pennsylvania entered the green phase of our coronavirus pandemic. The green phase allowed us to the opportunity to open all four virtual parks with some restrictions and guidelines. Both Cheryl Bowork and Cheryl Valentino have been extremely helpful to me in getting our parks up and running. I'm appreciative of their professionalism and help, as well as the Public Works Department, who are responsible for maintaining our parks. Signage has been printed, laminated, and posted at our parks, including social distancing signs and sanitizing signs, washing of hands for all users of our parks. Restrooms are open with appropriate signage in the restroom. Public Works has been instructed that restroom facilities must be cleaned and sanitized daily. Athletic groups have been advised to follow guidelines issued to them when initiating practices and games. Uh, as far as that goes, mostly like the uh, baseball association, the softball associations have issued some guidelines from what I understand on running their programs. So I don't expect the borough to be policing these organizations. It's pretty much up to them. The following has been placed on our borough website and Facebook page. All parks in Bridgeville Borough are open to the public. Please follow CDC and Pennsylvania Department of Health guidelines on social distancing for all areas in the park. Beginning on June 8, 2020, you will start accepting reservations for the pavilions. You may call the office at 412-221-6012 from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. or email bridgeworldborough.com to request your date. Please keep in mind social distancing guidelines must be followed for rentals. I wrote that up beforehand so I wouldn't take too hard to read the thing off. But that's what's going on in the parks. Uh, I noticed when we taped off the playground equipment, somebody, a couple different sets of equipment, someone just tore the tape down and uh, threw them in the, they were nice, they threw them in the trash cans, but Someday, sooner or later, I know it's on our budget, but we are up for putting cameras in Chartier's Park at least. And hopefully, once Joe Carr comes on, we'll be able to get that moving because it is in the budget. And we've been trying to get this done for years, and I think it's only about time. Uh, that's basically all I have. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate all the help, all the work you guys did to get the, the parks open and uh, yeah, up to speed there. Um, Public Works, Nino. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I want to make a, a comment on the the opening of the office. A public Works is instructed by me that 7.30 when they come to work, one of them or two of them or whatever, to go upstairs and sanitize absolutely everything. The door, door handle, the bathroom and all that. That's uh, that's definitely it's okay. They know it, and I don't care who's going up, one or two. 
we did buy uh, Mrs. Bart, she bought the paint already. We're going to paint the new manager room, including the two officers where the girls are. That's going to be painted before the carpet is coming in. And as far as the, uh, the, the work of the public work, of course, cutting grass in the parks, in the road, in a, on the road, in island, and clean up, and et cetera, et cetera. That's a normal, normal routine in the summertime, okay? Empty the garbage bag, in, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The concern I have uh, very strongly to, to pay four hours for Saturday and Sunday, the public work, and maybe overtime as well to to sanitize the the bathroom and and so forth. I uh, strongly believe maybe now we how they say we got cut with the pants on, so we have to continue that. But I really strongly believe that we should find somebody on ten ninety nine to do that work. It'll become cheaper than pay four hours and maybe overtime for the future and even for now, as soon as we can, if the parking recreationists agree with that and the financial committee agree, agree with that. And I'm sure that some retired people be glad to take that job. We don't know but something to explore. Other than that, gentlemen, ladies, this COVID, it's been disaster for everybody. It's gonna be for us just as well. So that's all I can say. Let's hope that we can continue to do the right thing. The right thing is for the safety, we are doing it. And the financial is gonna suffer a little bit. Maybe Mr. Verducci will take care of that in in a professional manner. And thank you so much. And I hope the next meeting will be done in a regular place. Maybe we can use the, the fire hall for a while. And that's all I have. Thank you, everybody. See you. Thanks, Thanks Nino. Sure. Public safety, Bruce Keller Ducci. Yeah, the, the only thing I have, Bill, is um, we, I'm trying to put together to have the two uh, civil service um, candidates sworn in. And I've talked to them. We're hoping for Wednesday or Thursday evening. I'll let the rest of the council know and the mayor so we can get this done. Um, Chad and uh, Lori have both put, put together the ad for the Police Department, Chad can elaborate on that. And um, we're moving forward with uh, creating a list for civil service. And that's all I have. Thanks, Bruce. Uh, Mayor Betty Copeland. Uh, yes, thank you. I attended the four cemeteries with the American Legion to, to honor our beloved veterans who had passed away. And at Melrose Cemetery, Pastor Yeoman from Bethany Presbyterian Church opened with prayer, after which Devlin Robinson gave an appropriate message. And Katie Versick played Amazing Grace on her violin. And at all cemeteries, uh, Tony Versick and his son TJ played taps. Also, Angelina Fina called me and she wanted Chief King and for you council people to know how Officer Young assisted her when she left her keys and purse in her car after she went to Rite Aid to make some purchases. And he was very comforting and assisted her and made her feel calm and she was appreciative of that. And also we want to wish Dennis Valentine Happy retirement. He's retiring this month after 31 years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. 
And congratulations to Denny as well. Um, Police Chief Chad King. Thank you, Council President. Um, just to elaborate a bit on what Councilman Gellarducci brought up, uh, we have opened the the um, <clears throat> process to start hiring, accept applications. The deadline's the 19th of June, and we have our test date set up for July 1st, that being the first, the physical agility test, and then the written test uh, immediately thereafter. And once the scores are received back from that, we'll begin to set up um, interviews for later in the month of July. So my my goal is to have everything wrapped up and hopefully be able to appoint somebody by August's council meeting. I've got a cat too. <laughs> yeah, just a cat stroll right in front of me. You wouldn't believe that was a bear, would you, Chief, if I told you? That I, I, I can tell the difference. <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> That's all I have. All right, thank you. Uh, solicitor Tom McDermott. Uh, thank you. I don't have anything to add to my written report this evening. Okay. Any questions for the solicitor? Okay. Borough engineer, Kevin Brett. Uh, yes. Good evening, everybody. I do have a couple updates uh, since we are in construction season. Uh, you did do the award tonight on the 2020 uh, roads. Uh, we will get that award letter out tomorrow and have a pre-construction meeting in about three weeks. 2019 roads, they, uh, I did mill last week. They're doing prep on the streets uh, the first couple of days of this week and are scheduled to pave Wednesday. So by the end of the week, we should be able to do a final walkthrough and get that uh, program closed out uh, before the next meeting. Um, we did take uh, bid numbers on some repairs on Bower Hill Road just to see what they would come in at. They were well in excess of uh, letter bid openings. And uh, we would recommend including those in uh, next year's road program as one of the line items in the bid and actually take bids to do those repairs. Um, Long-term road plan, uh, we do have it finalized and I'll be sending it out to the road committee for Nino to take a look at. And if uh, we can meet, we'll have a meeting before the next uh, council meeting and then hopefully present that to council as your 15 year plan. Uh, next item is, um, as I indicated, you did get the permits for the uh, trash rack and the uh, flood project. That is grouped with um, the um, Janet Way access project uh, on the grant. Um, so uh, there is, a, as I indicated, if council's okay with it, um, we will start the pro process with the funding and uh, go through, um, they have some notifications they have to make um, for um, WBE, MBE, participation. Once they make those notifications, then they give the green light to do the advertisement and um, we'll get the wage rates and then we'll have the contract documents uh, finalized, put together and bids open. I would hope to open it before the next meeting, um, but if the county uh, takes an extra week or two, it may happen between the next two meetings, but uh, we will expedite that if council is okay with that. Um, to get that moving. Um, as I indicated, we uh, have got through the uh, uh, modeling. Uh, so we're currently in the process of uh, finalizing the model from the bottom of town all the way to the top to this project. And then uh, taking your uh, study that you had done on Baldwin Street um, on the various projects, we're gonna overlay those two documents. And then uh, I would hope to come before planning commission uh, sometime over the next month and then uh, a month or two later have a joint meeting and run through those uh, model results and the projects. We did have a pre-application meeting with DEP to confirm uh, the levy at the bottom of town uh, around the ice cream shop all the way to the very uh, outlet. Um, it's actually not a very high wall. Um, it's only about four foot high, uh, maybe five foot at the highest. And um, a DEP's main uh, requirement is going to be to make sure that we can get the property prior to submitting a permit. Um, there really didn't seem to be any hurdles. The modeling works. And uh, it does take a couple screw pumps um, down at the low point in town. And we would pipe those back up over the levee wall. Um, but you can pass the flood uh, if we increase the height, height of the wall. And then uh, we would um, eliminate the flooding in that downtown area Kevin, around, the, around the borough building. 
I have a question on on that levy. Is, is that the one that the we're going to have the borough workers do, or is that somebody we have to contract out? That would be uh, most likely a contract out, and it would be a um, it would be a grant. Once you get this uh, analysis completed, and we start into the um, permit process. Um, you are applicable then for some grants that without the study, you can't even apply for. So this in the Baldwin Street, um, once we get the cost estimates finalized, uh, I, I think we would submit those as a phase one, phase two. And then we would approach the uh, county for the uh, county bridges to be replaced. Um, the one right above that that has the pier, um, that bridge needs to go. It needs to be uh, raised and the pier needs to go because it is a... Uh, no matter how you run the model, it catches too much debris, it clogs, and uh, a, a, a standard bridge needs put put in across there. And then refresh the, my memory, though. What what was the one that we were thinking of having the borough workers work on? There's two uh, culverts there that need cleaned. Oh, that okay. Yeah, That's we're gonna I mean. clean those, and then uh, at some point uh, we have to find a way to get those manholes lowered. Are relocated it's in the middle they catching off a lot of debris too that's a separate project though it's not a costly project it's just a pain to get um, approved because those manholes are owned by somebody else so um so we will have for next year's uh grant cycle uh, we will have a bunch of grants uh once uh you review and are okay with the model and the results then we'll have a whole list that we can apply and work with a new manager to do that i'm sure he'll be uh I know he's he's really good at the grant uh, writing, uh, from what I understand. So, it it will be good to uh, work with him on those. Uh, next is the um, Bar Hill Road uh, storm sewer project. Um, we have submitted the permit back in April, and uh, the county uh, we did talk to them this week. They're back working, and uh, the fee was sent in. So they should be finalizing uh, the documents and send out. We could get a comment or two, but we don't think we will. Um, once we get that, then that project would be in line to be bid as well. Uh, the backflow preventer project, we sent out a punch list from last year's, a couple small items. And we're currently working with Cheryl uh, to get the list pulled together for this year's and get that put out the bid. Um, the last item is uh, Elkisan. Um, we did submit a grow grant application. Um, we did get comments back from Alcasan. It did not get funded, um, but they are providing some input on a future uh, grow grant that we can apply for and hopefully get you funded for that. Um, it basically is uh, the reason you got rejected, the amount of improvement based on what you spent and the type of improvement. It doesn't get you enough reduction on flow numbers. Um, that they felt it, it could be funded. Um, but we have uh, a project that we think will get you there. And then uh, you can take credit for some of that past work as well. So um, we will be working with El Elkisan to try to get you uh, a GROW grant because I don't believe you've had one yet. So, and that's all I have. Any questions? Where are we at uh, with the, the parking lot and the sign, Kev? Uh, the parking lot was, um, uh, at alternate one, it was awarded. We're going to indicate to the contractor if he could do that first. And then the sign itself, um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how that's being built or how it's included. It's not in the bid itself, I don't believe. Okay. I thought, I, I thought it was all bid together. Yeah, I think okay. it's, I believe it's separate, but I'll double check that. So, okay. um, right. I do have, I do have one other item. I'm sorry. I just noticed it. Um, I got a notice from uh, South Fayette's manager that the Hastings uh, development project at the old Mayview um, hospital site, um, they've had a traffic study completed uh, back when they started the project. And I think it was approved by um, South Fayette and PennDOT. It required some improvements. Um, they've come back to South Fayette and indicated they would like to do an alternative any alternative is the original plan proposed um, some work at one of your intersections, which was uh, Mayview Road and Chartier Street. Uh, and uh, I think it's Lesnet Road. And they wanna not do that work and they wanna do additional work at Washington Pike and Boyce Road. And South Fayette's uh, 
they would like something from the borough acknowledging that you were in receipt of this study. Um, we weren't part of the review um, back when this was done. Uh, Gateway engineers actually prepared the plans and the study for um, the developer in this case. Um, and they prepared the alternative. And I was gonna have a traffic engineer look at it, but the more I've looked at this, um, I think it's as simple as um, you've received the study and what's council's feelings on saying that's okay not to do work at the intersection in Bridgeville and do work at um, Washington Pike and Boyce Road. That just merely helps them more and, and not us, right? Yeah, I think I think that's a poor intersection in in, in the borough. I I think if I if I understand that route correctly, and I've been through there quite a few times, it's a shortcut, and you get an awful lot of traffic coming up along the uh, drugstore, and uh, goes up to that intersection. So if you're okay with it, I I don't know if it'll do anything, but I'm okay responding that the borough is not in favor of the alternative and you would prefer the work to be done per the original study. Yeah, I don't know what everyone else's feelings are on this, but that that intersection at Bank and Lesnet and, and Chartiers needs as much attention as any we have. What are they, uh, what are their plans to do up there, Kevin? Uh, they, they were gonna do some uh, lane improvements, I think some turn lanes. Um, I don't know that they would go as far as signalization, things like that, but they were gonna do some lane improvements, um, which would help. Um, right. I think it's one of those intersections that anything helps. It's in a felling state today. It gets worse under this uh, when it's with this development's finished. So that being the case, um, I just think it's a bad situation. It gets a little bit worse. So if they do do a little bit to mitigate it, that's better for, in the long run for you and, and for the area. So um, well, also to add that it's going to be bad. Whenever they close the Boyce Road Mayview uh, intersection, everything's going to be coming up through Bridgeville at that point as well. Oh yeah, everybody yeah. wanted to go to 19, wanted to go to Cecil and and back North Strabane that way. I mean, it's going to be ugly. So just to add to your comment about that intersection, okay, and okay. the additional development that's going there. If we say no, and they just still go ahead and. Do what they want and tell us to take a hike. Well, PennDOT, the, the letter will go to the, uh, it'll go to the township and then um, it has to go to PennDOT too then from them. Uh, PennDOT uh, will be the final arbiter of it. Um, they could say, you know, well, the, the borough is not okay with it. So we're not okay with it. Or they could say, well, um, We'll keep that in mind, but yeah, go ahead and do the alternative. So, hey, Kevin, um, what about St. Clair? I would think St. Clair would have to have a comment on it as well. They asked for their comment as well, and uh, I believe Gateway's their engineer also. Um, so, I don't know that they got any comment back uh, on it. If they did, I don't believe it was negative. So, excuse me, I have a comment. Is Upper St. Clair, they're building condos right there as well. Are they required for any type of improvement because of their development that's right next to that intersection? I don't know. I didn't know they were building one there. I can check. I can check with Penn, PennDOT and see. Mike, do you know how many there are going to be there? I mean, it's obviously it's not significant compared to, you know, what's they made. Um, but, I mean, if you go past that, I think it's maybe. I think it's six, six to ten. Is, it, is that it? I think. I mean, it's not oh. much, but still. Uh, yeah, they want they it won't trigger a traffic study then if it's six to ten. Yeah. Um, that that wouldn't be enough units. But like Hastings is Hastings is a yeah. is as you guys know, it's a massive development. So, but okay, I I will respond on behalf of the borough if you're okay with that and yeah, I indicate am. we're we're uh, the borough is not in favor of it. Hey Kev, yep. Kev, could you yes. copy us on that letter before you send it? Just, yeah, I can send it over in draft if you're okay with it. Yeah. For everybody, and you can look at it, and Tom can put his two cents in it too if he wants. I think that would be better this way here. You don't take the blame of something wrong. Okay. Do you want me to draft it for borough letterhead? So it comes from, from the borough? That's fine. Yeah. 
I can do that. I, I can okay. put the meat to it and then uh, um, you guys can sign it and then they'll know it's from you. All right. That works. Okay. Good deal. Thanks, Kev. Thank you. Hey, I have a question for Kev. Hey, sure. Kev, the, the drawings for the McLaughlin Park, the, what we've been approved for now as far as the lowering and trash rack, Yes. Is, are they available? I I know there was a copy there, but I had I didn't get a chance to see it. Are they still yeah. at the borough building or they they are and we've had a couple tweaks along the way. Um do you want me to email it out to everybody in a PDF or That'd do you want bad. me to send a hard copy to the borough building? Oh email it out. I think we could all like to see it. Yep. Okay, yeah. I'll do that and uh, I'll email you as the park project to the changes we made to the quantity so you can see them. Okay, so because we're constantly getting questions, and this way here, we at least got some idea of what's going to happen. So, absolutely. Okay, I'll make sure they both get emailed out tomorrow. Uh, we'll put them into a compressed file. Okay, thank you. Good deal. Thank you. Any more questions for Kevin? Oh, well, we got them here. All right, thanks, Kev. Um, Fire Chief's not here, right? Uh, Southbridge Dan Miller's not here. Am I right? Didn't show up. Okay. Um, Mary, is Mary Weiss here? She gave me. Okay. Uh, she wants to invite everyone to the June 23rd, 7 30 meeting at the Chartier's room to hear the story about stolen, disputed, and inconclusive presidential elections, the invention of the paper ballot and how George Washington supplied liquor to the voters to win an election presented by Todd DePostino. Thank you. You're welcome. What was the time on that, Betty? 7.30, and she said sharp. Thank you. <laughs> OK. Uh, is there a library representative, by any chance? I don't believe there is. No? OK. Uh, no one from the parking authority. I didn't no. notice anybody here. No. And planning commission. Uh, I saw Dale here. Mm -hmm. Dale. Uh, good evening, Mr. President. Um, we're uh, we're continuing our discussions regarding uh, the comprehensive plan and looking at um, issues. Um, we hope to finish that up um, in the June meeting, and um, you know, pass some, start talking about some things, and and pass some things on to you guys, you know, August, September issue. So, you know, we, we talked about, we discussed walking issues and traffic issues this last meeting. So um, it, again, it's all preliminary discussions based on uh, the, co the old comprehensive plan and, and just kind of looking at, at issues that may still uh, be a pressing for, for Bridgeville. So, that's it. Well, thanks, Don, and uh, thanks for the work you guys are doing. I've had a chance to sit in on them, and, and uh, they've been really there's good dialogue and a lot of collaboration going on. I appreciate what you guys are doing. Yeah, it's all about having some discussion and, and trying, to, trying to talk through some things. So, yep. Thank you. All good, good stuff. Thank you. Uh, anything under old business? Yeah, I've got something real quick here, if you don't mind. Uh, folks have brought up the uh, a grant application on blight from the state of Pennsylvania. And I was sort of under the impression that it was something that the COG had been handling for us. But this is a separate grant. Now, I uh, sent the paperwork over to the COG to have them look at it, which they're doing. They'd be glad to do it for us. I've talked to Bill about it, sort of. They would be a lot better and easier for us if they would do it, because this is coming up pretty quick on this thing so she, uh, Michelle's supposed to get back to us this week on it it's like a twenty twenty five thousand dollar grant ten percent uh, match that we have to do and she said that would be at least two possibly three houses if we get the thing so work uh, information to Cheryl and I think BJ's on the list too and plus myself and if I hear anything I'll let you all know but uh, that's all I got Okay. Okay. So, so those are it's separate from uh, what Joe's been talking about. And the cog. Yeah, the, the cog was something pretty much the county would work on, and uh, this was something new. 
she sort of acted like she hadn't seen it before, but I mean, they, she'd been doing grants for over 25 years down there. She's good at it. And she'll give us the straight and narrow. But I, as to whether we could mobilize and get it done ourselves, I don't know. Joe, we, when I had brought that up to everybody, uh, Joe Carr actually had some interest in doing it as well. Should we check with him? Well, I'm just asking. I mean, just as a, is he fine with them sending it that way? You want him to do all the paperwork for it? Or? No, he volunteered. He said that he would be involved in it. Just do you want to ask him, hey, we got Cog to do it. Are you okay with that? I mean, just because he was saying that he, he was interested in being involved in those. So I don't should that be something that we should that check is, with? That's up to administration. I'm just – if the council decision, they're actually, it's not just the committee thing. If you guys all want to go that way, fine. As far as the clock doing, I was just trying to expedite the thing because the deadline is set up, I think, the end of June, first part of July. So we got to get it done. So that's the issue. I mean, I expect to keep Joe in the loop for sure. I think both of them are actually up quickly, aren't they? If, uh... County things a little further down the road. I'm not. Oh, okay. All right. Not this quick. I know that. Okay. Um, any more comments, Joe? Producey on that? No. Okay. All right. Thanks, Joe. Okay. Anything under old business? Any more? Under new business, I just wanted to mention we had a um, an executive session at six o'clock this evening talk about uh, legal matter and personnel issues. So I uh, wanted to record that. Anything else under new business? Yes, Mr. Chairman, if I may, please. A day or so ago, you received an email from um, a number two. I can't pronounce her name well, but she's number two. We all know that, okay. Uh, is this an application for planning commission? Kayla Lawrence. I know the people, the Bridgeville blood, her grandpap, her grandparents was Denziger and Cimaroli. She lived in Greenwood for, she bought a house there. She lived in Bridgeville uh, for about eight years. You don't have to make motion now, by no means. Uh, she lived in Cecil as uh, it's where the parents moved. She was on a parking, a committee in Cecil, in Bridgeville. She's uh, on the board of the library. And uh, she's very, very active. She graduated from Robert Morris. She's in finance. Uh, take a look at email, please. I know the family, they might next door neighbor. I like to say that, but it doesn't have anything to do with my recommendation. The girl, it's absolutely fantastic. She loved Bridgeville. She's uh, very artistic. Uh, and uh, take a good look at uh, Dale. Take a good look to this young lady. You're going to study her. You're going to like her. So I only I want to say to to counsel to look to or it's very small ad that you got from uh, our interim manager there and think about it and value it her and uh, you'll be very happy to be good on board. She is Bridgeville blood. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Nino. Hey, a quick question on that. Do we have to post something like that for a board like that? That was my question. Past, that's, that's at your pleasure. Yeah. In the past, to keep everybody aware of what's going on, we have done that. Yeah. I think it's a good idea as well to do that. Yeah. I mean, she might be the greatest person in the world. I just she might be a little more transparent on this. Right. Should we make a motion to advertise that? I like that motion. Yeah. I'll second. 
got a motion on the floor to advertise to uh, for replace a vacancy on the planning commission. By just Joe for clarification, Lawson. did you want that in the newspaper or just like a web posting? Whatever is legal and cheap. You don't have to do anything legal. It's just a preference. I'm not sure who actually reads the, you know, the classified legal ads. It may, you could blast it out in other ways. I just put that out there for your consideration. Well, is it, isn't the, the, you should start moving to Facebook and, and the borough's website uh, to do it instead of paying all the time a fortune. If you don't have to, that would be my recommendation. And frankly, you get better exposure with your web, your Facebook, your blasts for no money. Yeah, and that and that's the spirit of what we're trying to accomplish, right? So get more people interested. Yes. Okay, so there's a motion on the floor um, by Joe Colosimo to advertise in the way we deem necessary or fit for a vacancy on the Planning Commission, seconded by Nick. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Anything else under new business? Bill, I just want to mention that we're looking to move the meetings back to the borough building, but we'll monitor this green phase and decide in, you know, in the next couple of weeks whether we'll continue with Zoom or we'll go back into the building. Or like Nina's an option because offered that as well if yeah I, I think one of the concerns we had and, and certainly we're going to monitor it is the spacing required uh, you know if, if 20 people showed up in the borough building could you keep them six feet apart that could be a difficult thing so we will yeah. continue to monitor and, and uh, hopefully we get to that stage we can do it so. I think if you move the site you have to advertise it for at least 10 a week to 10 days that would be an question for Tom, but in the past, if you move the site, you're going to need, need to know two weeks before we do it, if you're going to move it to the fire department. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, ch I'll check with the chief just to see if it's even a possibility, and if so, I think we'll be prepared to make a decision to meet that requirement if, uh, if we're going to do it. I make a, a comment, uh, obvious, uh, the borough building, it's too small to uh, enforce all the uh, regulation, we could, but it's easier, the fire department, Mr. Chairman, General, ladies and gentlemen, there's a spacious room there. Uh, I would strongly believe that's what we should do next month. Uh, but it depends, like the chairman say, let's see how the thing goes. Thank you. Thanks, Nina. Anything else under new business? If not, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second by Nino. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Meeting adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Yes.